you will never get the real, real feedback of what your interviewers were thinking. This is not considered as a professional candidate interaction. You will hear a lot of things like, yeah, the fit was already um, in decent shape. However, with regards to the case performances, there were one or two things, right? If you just take this as 100% truth, right? This is not systematically helping you too much. Why I believe a staggered interviewing approach is extremely helpful in maximizing the chances to receive an offer from your primarily targeted consulting company. Many of our mentees are surprised when they are joining the program that I'm asking them to apply to several different companies, specific companies, in a specific order, right? That based on our experience has um, yielded the, the best return for their later MBB interviews. And why we are doing this is because we have figured out a way to systematically interview at the respective companies and make sure that the feedback that our candidates received can be applied and discussed in a systematic way to improve on the journey to the MBBs at the very end and here to your primarily targeted MBB at the end of the process. And what is really interesting is that Many of the mentees only considered one specific company to go for, right? And this might not be the smartest idea because the only thing that we are not able to theoretically test in the program that we are offering is real life pressure. Real life pressure. As many people can be so good and, and, and also be even excellent in, in terms of solving problems and uh, systematically communicate their ideas and so on and so forth. But when then it's the, the, the time that they need to perform, they break down for whatever reason, right? And this should never, never happen in your MBB interviews, right? So for doing that and also making sure that you get real life feedback on the way, we are building that staggered pipeline and we are then discussing the feedback you have received on the way. Because tr the truth is also, um, you will never get the real, real feedback of what your interviewers were thinking. This is not considered as a professional candidate interaction, right? So. You will hear a lot of things like, yeah, the fit was already um, in decent shape or okay. Uh, however, with regards to the case performances, there were one or two things, right? First of all, it's never the full picture. Second, you will need to have someone who knows how you are performing regularly in order to calibrate that into something tangible for you. Because if you just Take this as 100% truth, right? This is not systematically helping you too much. Uh, again, the interviewers cannot speak openly to you. It's just impossible to do that. So it's necessary that you find a way to calibrate that feedback and translate it into something actionable for you. And to be honest here, it's impossible for you to do that because how, how could you, right? You have no experiences. You have not seen a couple of hundred successful uh, people that have gone through the interviewing process. So you don't even know what is the criteria here I should self-calibrate myself upon. <laughs> so this is also an essential part of the program that we are offering. So just wanted to make sure you are clear on what is happening in between the different rounds of the companies, but also how do you build a staggered pipeline of interviews in order to then later on at the end maximize your chances of ending up with your number one priority.